the paramount chief of Bandai in the northern region has served notice that only persons with knowledge in information and communication technology will be allowed to occupy traditional leadership roles. Mandaiwara uh, Nana uh, Brisiam Okre uh, Atosa has uh, also given an ultimatum to chiefs in his traditional area to acquire ICT skills or risk losing their stools. My colleague Ohim Interior has more in the following report. Pandai, the capital of Pandai district, is one of the deprived communities in the northern region. Deprivation is so real that imaginary ICT lessons are held in schools in the area without computers. But thanks to the benevolence of a US-based couple and their source of hope NGO, a computer laboratory equipped with internet and a library have been donated to the community. The chiefs and people met the news with ecstasy. The paramount chief of the area, Pandaira Nanabri Siam Okore Atosa II, is asking the 52 members of the Pandai Traditional Council to take advantage and upgrade their knowledge in ICT. We didn't know computer. And if now we have a computer lab in the town, why don't we run? to go and learn how to do it. He has prescribed the dress code for chiefs attending ICT lessons. One will have to be in a tie, clean dresses, then you enter there. But you should be neat. No dirty person is allowed to go there. According to the Pandaira, not only is knowledge in ICT a requirement for chieftaincy in the area, but a must for all would-be chiefs. He says he will no longer approve of any ICT illiterate candidate nominated for chieftaincy position. Formerly, we put people who are not educated and they can't read, they can't write as chiefs. But this time, we have learned so much that getting this computer, nobody will like to say back, you will learn it. We have half of them, they've been to school somewhere, uh, and then because of money, they drop out. They can still go and learn the computer. Once you have it and you don't go to learn it, you are out of the chieftaincy. For officials of Source of Hope, the desire by the elderly to embrace and acquire ICT knowledge means their target has been achieved. Fred Osei Yeboa is Vice President of Souls of Hope. For us, we've achieved what we want to achieve. Because if the elderly are embracing what we've done, can you imagine what these high school kids and the ones who are near enough to go into universities, the drive that will come out of them. From Pandai in the northern region for Joy News, Oyemi Interior reporting.